So some of you might remember the Alienation Venus hub that we just put onto my brand new BMX bike. It's the latest hub coming soon this year using Free Knight's planetary free coaster technology that I've covered extensively on this YouTube channel. Well, the guys at Free Knight didn't just make the Free Knight planetary free coaster and its internals and then license it out there and just stop working. They are hard at work, constantly trying to improve these hubs, as you saw from the first Free Night Planetary Hub that I showed on this channel to the BSD. Now we've got the alienation, and with that, I got this package in the mail as a surprise from Free Night, containing some things for the Alienation Venus that will be implemented in all of them coming soon this year. I don't have an exact date, but it's coming soon. So, let's get right on into this package. We've got the top-down camera here. I don't know exactly what's in this box, so it's kind of a surprise and I'm excited to get into here and check out what we will be putting into my Venus hub. So here we go, top down camera. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We got a free night sticker. Shout out to free night because they are the ones that made this revolutionary new hub. Zoom in is what it says here. Interesting, spare parts. All right, so I still don't know what's in here. Let's zoom in and take this out of whatever is here. Um, there we go. All right, here we go. What is this? Do, 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 do. There we go. Some spare parts. We have a new spacer here. This spacer is to go on the inside of the clutch assembly, which we will grab and assemble for you guys right now. But uh, showing the spacer here, and then we've got dual O-rings. Actually, hold on a second. This is where the zoom in part came from. I see now. There is two O-rings inside of this spacer that go against the axle. So I have been told that the clutch systems on this hub are going to be featuring dual o-rings in them it's all in the o-rings with this hub i don't know specifically there's still magic there but uh that's that's what we're working with here and i believe that's the lube that he mentioned that he put onto the spacer and told me not to wipe off so i'm going to try not to touch that but we've got two o-rings inside of there we've got o-rings here that i'm going to be replacing so i will show that i'll show taking everything apart and that's what we're going to cut to now because i've got to get it out of the hub all right, so here we have the clutch assembly from the Alienation Venus hub. As you can see here from the top down, it's pretty simple. It's the spacer, metal spacer, C-clip together clutch assembly with plastic clutch pieces. And I guess this, at this point, is a tutorial on how to disassemble and reassemble the Free Night Planetary Free Coaster clutch system. So all we gotta do is use our fingernails to get this C-clip out here, as you can see. We're gonna set that aside to a safe place. And then we're gonna slide off, oops, so there's a metal spacer piece here that keeps it together. We'll pull the spacer out from inside the clutch assembly here. This is the spacer that we have a replacement for. And just so you guys can see here, let's take the triangle piece off. You can see the four little gears on the inside. You can also see the wedge and its gear piece. And what we basically need to do here is we've got to take this O-ring out of here. We're going to drop it first. <laughs> then we're going to take one of our O-rings. Let's make sure they're both exactly the same, which they are. And there is some difference here. So if you look close at this O-ring, which I hadn't done yet, and this is why it said zoom in, you can see there's little ridges on here. Not sure if this comes through on camera or not, but let's take out the one from the previous just to see. You can see where it's supposed to sit with those ridges. And I may have found why there is a replacement for this. And this is a perfect representation of why sample and prototype parts exist. You can see that this O-ring kind of disintegrated when I took it apart and that's probably why this one is made and why there's sample parts and prototypes before a customer can buy them because if that happened to a customer that would be very unfortunate but 
It happened to me being a team rider for Alienation, testing out this sample hub. I get to replace it and fix the problem before you guys buy it and deal with it yourself. So now you guys don't have to deal with these issues. That's why these things exist and you don't normally get to see these things. So as you can see here, maybe not, I'm gonna try and get it to where you can see it. There are ridges on this O-ring and these ridges correspond to the spaces on the clutch. So that's how we're gonna install this thing. We're gonna put them into the spaces that it looks like are their homes. And it's fitting very perfectly right now into those spaces. This one isn't seemingly super glued. Now we can take the new spacer. We're gonna take our wedge cluster here, put it back in. And then we're just gonna slide the new spacer into the planetary clutch assembly. Boom, just like that. Now we can take our metal spacer piece here, put it on top to sandwich everything together. Take our C-clip and reinstall it. So now we have a finished clutch assembly which I actually have to say does feel like it spins smoother. I don't know how or why because it's just an O-ring change, but it spins. There's not a, that's kind of crazy. It spins smoother, that's really, really cool. And there's less like, there's less wiggle in it. So that's just a perfect illustration of why prototype parts go through prototyping and sampling and people test them and ride them because things do come up, issues do arise and that's where they're solved in the prototyping stage so that when the final product goes out to consumers, it doesn't have these little issues. So we need to get this on the bike and we will be finished, but I figured that's a great update for you guys showing you some of the behind the scenes of what goes into creating new products like this and improving them along the way. And in a bit of a conclusion here, since you guys haven't seen the Alienation Venus Hub yet, if you don't know, I said it already, Alienation's Planetary Free Coaster Hub using the Planetary Clutch System. Here's the clutch system, here's the hub. Let's put them back together so we didn't do all this so you guys could just end the video and see nothing. Here's the clutch onto the axle and immediately when you put it onto the axle, geez, you can feel that there is more resistance there. So we gotta line it up with the CNC portion of the hub, slide it into place. Now we can take our driver, put it over the axle nice and gently into the hub, jam nut, onto the axle as well and let's tighten that down most things that you might run into with this hub come with the jam nut being too loose so snug the jam nut up come back to the other camera and let's spin this thing oh hear that that sounds good. So that is the Alienation Venus free coaster with the updated parts inside the planetary clutch. All production Venus free coasters will have these parts. So hopefully they all sound as good as this one. Listen to that. Man, that's good. I wanna hear it again. Top down camera view, cause why not? On that note, stay tuned guys. The Venus is coming very, very soon. I hope you guys found this useful and it's a little insight into the prototyping process, sampling parts process, so we can bring you the best products possible. I'm throwing myself in there because I helped design this hub shell and I've got a lot of input into things to do with it. So hopefully you guys like this thing. I really hope you do and get this colorway because it's my signature. Check it out.
Subscribe if you haven't yet, and hopefully that'll mean we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you for your night. Thank you, Alienation. Shout out to Park Tool, because we used Park Tools today, and you should be able to buy the Alienation Venus at Stacked BMX Shop. That being said, thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.